Welcome back to another video here at Hungry Turtle Code. And today we're going to create our very own link shortener. It's not going to be a very long video. So this video was entirely inspired by Kent C. Dodds. He released a video a couple weeks ago, I think, where he did this exact thing, creating a link shortener using Netlify. And I thought it was a great idea, so I thought I would make a video on it, give him the credit, but spread the message. So I'll just give you an example of what we're gonna create. So I've created my own link shortener for Hungry Turtle Code. So we could go to trtl.cc and it will just take us to hungryturtlecode.com. And this also links to various other things that I've got set up. So I could go to slash YouTube and it will take me to the Hungry Turtle Code YouTube channel. And it's possible to create as many short links as you want and link to anything. So let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna need is a domain. So I personally use Namecheap for all of my domains but you can use whatever you want. There's like, I want my name and there's just so many different companies that you can buy domains off. So use whichever you prefer. So here we'll just search for a short domain. So in this case, I'll do htcode.club, which I think is available. Yep. It's available here, htcode.club. So obviously you can use whatever. I use trtl.cc for my main link shortener. Um, I think Kent uses uh, kcd.im and I think he has a couple other link shorteners as well. So you pick whatever domain you want and I'll just add this to the cart and I'll go through the full process. I'll purchase the domain. I'll set it all up with Netlify, with the GitHub repo, with everything we need end to end. Okay, so now we have the domain purchased. We will kind of just leave that to the side for now. So the next thing to do is to create the GitHub repo. So I will go to GitHub, create a new repository. I'll call it short links example, and it'll be a public repository, create repository. And then from here, what I would usually do is obviously create a repository on the computer and then push to this remote but I'll just create new file right here and I'll call the file underscore redirects. So this is important. So we're gonna be using Netlify, which is just a hosting sort of continuous deployment provider. And you can link a Git repo to Netlify and it will just do deployments. And Netlify looks for an underscore redirects file. And then it will read that and create redirects based on what you put in here. So I'll just put in a slash star which will just match any root and I'll just match that to the Hungry Turtle Code YouTube site because we have that open and I will come down here commit file so now we have this on github and now we can come into Netlify and link this git repo to Netlify so when you come to Netlify this is what you're met with really quite a nice design and here's a brief description you connect the repository you add your build settings, so you say it's master branch, you give it the commands to run, the directory to deploy, and it will just deploy it. And I don't have that much experience with Netlify, but I have to say I'm really, really impressed with them from what little experience I do have with them. It just works. Go, go, go figure. But anyway, we'll log in, be met with this. I'll log in with GitHub. And here you can see the trtl.cc domain that I have my Hungry Turtle short links set up with. We can create a new site from Git and then click the GitHub logo here and it will just authorize us and we will be met with this page. I'll click the short link examples. And because we're just dealing with the redirects, we don't actually need to deal with any build commands or publish directories or anything. So we'll just click deploy site and it's deploying to the world. But of course, right now, it's at this domain, this nifty carry zero D whatever. So we now need to link the domain we just purchased with this Netlify. So we can just go here to check it out and you can see immediately we're redirected to the Hungry Turtle Code YouTube channel, which is what we set the redirect up for. But we can't go to htcode.club 
it will just tell us site can't be reached because we haven't linked them yet. So we'll come back into here. We'll go to domain settings, add custom domain, and we'll say htcode.club, verify, and it'll say that it already has an owner. Is it me? Yes. So you can actually purchase your domain directly through Netlify if you wish. But I already own this, so yes, add domain. So now I need to configure the DNS. So it'll give you the instructions here. It says recommended point a name or alias record to this domain name. But I don't think Namecheap supports a name, so we need to do an a record to this IP address. So we'll copy this IP address and come back into Namecheap. And I'll go into manage this htcode.club domain. And we'll go to advanced DNS. And then here we can see it's got some DNS records. So I will add a new DNS record. We want an A record. We want to point it at the IP we just copied and host is. And with Namecheap, we use the at symbol to specify we want to use the base domain and point it at this IP. So hit the check mark here to save changes. And we'll just delete these two records here that we don't want, we don't care about. So this might take a while to propagate the DNS, but usually with a brand new domain, it propagates pretty quickly. So let's go back to our htcode.club here and just refresh the page. And there we go. We're redirected to the Hunger Turtle Code YouTube channel. So our new domain is pointed at Netlify and Netlify is redirecting based on what we put into this Git repo. So now I'm just going to clone this so I can put it onto my computer. So we'll come into the terminal and I'll git clone this. And we'll just let git pull that down and we'll cd into that and we'll open up the redirect file. And now we'll talk a little about this file. So this file matches roots from top to bottom. So we want this slash star, which is a catch all, which you'll always just redirect to the YouTube channel. We want to have that at the bottom so that we can be sure that no other root is matched. So I'll shamelessly link to my Patreon and I'll also put in another link to site and I'll just send that to hungryturtlecode.com. So now we've added those into the redirect file. We can commit them, add new short links, and we'll push that back up to Git. And Netlify will immediately be notified that we've made changes to the repository. Netlify will take a look, see the new redirects, and it will immediately propagate them. And in my experience, it propagates really fast. So let's come back into the browser, open a new tab, and we'll go to htcode.club slash Patreon. And lo and behold, we are taken to my Patreon. We'll try again, htcode.club slash site, and we get taken to hungerturtlecode.com. And if we go to anything else, some random thing like this, we'll just be taken to the YouTube channel. And that is because we're hitting the catch all redirect. So Netlify goes from top to bottom in this redirect file. It tries to match site, tries to match Patreon, nothing else matches. So it will just send all other traffic to the YouTube site. And there you go. That is it. We've created our own link shortener in no time at all. And then we can add all kinds of things into this file. And this workflow is beautiful. We can add a new entry into this redirect file, push it to Git, and it automatically propagates as a new short link. So now you can link it up with different tools. So maybe you, you build another custom tool that will automatically build short links for blog articles you write, for example. And they'll automatically be propagated without you having to do anything because your tool adds a new entry into this file and pushes to Git. So the doors are really wide open. So it'd be really cool to see the sort of things that other people can create with this. Or if you just want to use it and manually work with it as well, that is also fine. So that is enough for today's video. So if you did enjoy it, 
give me a big thumbs up. Also go check out Kent C. Dodds. He does some pretty cool content on his blog. He has a YouTube channel. He's got some really cool projects on GitHub. And yeah, so go give him some love. Um, subscribe to my channel, bell notifications. Check out my Patreon if you enjoy what I do. But until next video, stay hungry and keep coding.